All right, so it's Thursday. That means it's time to take your weather question to the chief. This week's question comes from Betty. She wants to know if the full moon had an impact on those waves at Lake Michigan yesterday. This is a really interesting question. I've gotten this question before, Michelle. It's, uh, it does Lake Michigan experience tides. So remember with me what causes tides to begin with. It's the moon, and the moon has a gravity force along with the Earth. So the moon pulls on the water from Earth, and then because of weird space things, we don't just get it on one side, it actually acts to squeeze the water on planet Earth. So we get two high tides during the day. But again, that's caused by the moon, right? We have that gravitational pull, and as Earth spins underneath almost a bubble of water, it gives us two high tides, two low tides through the day. So Lake Michigan is much, much, much smaller than an average ocean, however, there are tides on Lake Michigan, believe it or not. They're incredibly minimal. Twice daily, we see tide fluctuations of about a half an inch to an inch and a half. Some spots are as large as four inches, but not many. And then usually we don't see these fluctuations because we have things like wind and pressure differences every single day on the lake. Even a light east wind is enough to flatten out the difference between about a half an inch high tide. So in general, we do see high tides, but we don't see them uh, to the capacity of an ocean tide. So the question that Betty had was, does the full moon or did the full moon impact the wave action from yesterday? Mm -hmm. I mean, technically, a tiny bit, potentially, but really not enough to make okay. a difference. All right. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Ellen one. and Betty. Thanks for the question. And if you have a weather question that you'd like Ellen to answer, all you have to do is email it to the7 at woodtv.com. And you can also find her on social media.